everybody and you obviously clicked on this video to ask to learn how to make a undertale fight now as you can see here this doesn't require much but even and even if you don't think this could look uh this could make a very good a good game just uh take info from here you got the health you got the bones you got the finger gun you got everything now of course this is a very silly undertale fight but i put a lot of effort into it and if you do that too you can make a good game as well so what you first want to do is of course get your sprite now i um imported this and to import something all you would want to do is just watch a video tutorial on how to do that but and wait what was i saying again oh yeah that's right so after you have uploaded your sprite uh you will want to uh duplicate that sprite because you might need this uh, sprite later and you want to make it black and white like it is right shown right here next step you want uh, to this is your main spot this is what you're gonna need to make all of your like this is what you're gonna need to make all of hold on i gotta think i gotta rethink this okay this is what you are gonna need to make your boss not boss it could be like a normal uh fight that you encounter but most people would want to make an undertale boss fight and this is this what you're gonna need uh to make your boss fight so you'll want to duplicate that and make everything you need to make so of course mine is a mixture of cuphead and sans a very cursed image that nobody should see so of course sans falls asleep so you got his little sleeping uh sleeping sprite right there because it's sans and cuphead and here is the um you might be thinking to yourself that this is the same picture from over here but it isn't because i just put one color into each category as you can see this is a very flat texture and this is well that's that and what you're going to want to do is take uh, this sprite once again and make your death sprite. As, of course, this is what Sans's death sprite looks like, but, well, not really, but you get the point. And, of course, you want uh, to put that into color. And I, th I, hold on, I think I did something wrong here. Yep, I did. Okay. Uh, here we go. There we go. Ooh. Okay, I was... Okay. So, I did a lot of things wrong with this colored sprite. Anyways. So, now that you got your death sprite, you want to animate your, um, your original black and white sprite. Now, of course, only the head is moving in this sprite, but if you want to put more effort into it, go right ahead. But this is a tutorial, and yeah. So, now you want to move on to making your soul. Now, you might be asking yourself why um, there's a... Uh, uh, the, hold on. Why I put... 2 by 2 instead of normally normal 1 and then to make the heart well to make the undertale soul is 16 bits so to recreate that you would want to put 2 by 2 uh, blah 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 and then you want to put the 16 bits where the 16 bits are and there you go and if anybody wants to copy this go right ahead 
and you want to make your Kraken Sprite, and this is just, uh, one, it's just one, one of these, th I don't know, it's one frame, but you, uh, like I said, you can make however much frames you want to make your Undertale boss fight. So then you got your blue soul and a custom soul, because this is Cuphead 2. Uh, my custom soul would be a cup soul, whatever. Obviously, you don't need a custom soul, but it's there if you want one. And, of course, this is your boss's uh, uh, heart or soul. Now, if you're making, like, a normal boss, uh, a normal fight where it's not a boss, you will not, uh, you don't do this. You will just, you'll just put your death sprite and you will not do the heart or soul or whatever. Now, what you want to do is, of course, create your box. So, and so, you might be wondering why I put these into separate sprites instead of one big sprite. Well, in order to recreate the box, you'll ha um you have to make it um each wall a block, but you can't be inside of a block or else you won't be able to move or you'll die. At least that's what I'm pretty I tested it, but it won't work. It so you put all your sides into uh, separate sprites. And what you do is you put them all together, and it forms something like that. Of course, I enlarged it, but you get the point. Ignore this. So next, what you want is, of course, your... I have no Gaster Blasters because this is still a Cuphead fight. It's, so instead of Gaster Blasters, I put finger guns like Cuphead uses. And since it is still sands, you have your little bone sprite. And of course, I made like the red a bone sprite that kills you instantly. And finally, what you will want is your buttons. Now, if you want, now I won't be showing you how to do that in this tutorial. But if you want to go ahead and create um turns. Like, one attack, then a turn, one attack, then a turn, then go right ahead, but this tutorial will not be showing that. So, you, so, I'll, so, what you want to do is now go into objects, where you'll be making all the objects. Of course, this is the normal, uh, this is the normal player, this is the blue player, which, um, since this is an RPG, I cannot force it to go to the ground and jump like a platformer. Instead, I made it slower. And at first, I didn't know what to do with the cup so, so I made it faster. And you can use that. So now, like I said, you'll want to put separately your little blocks of your box. If that makes sense, then you'll want your animated boss, your colored boss, and, well, if you want to put something, well, since this is hands, he obviously needs his sleeping sprite, but you got it right there. So, now, you got your, um, Gaster Blasters, or not, but... So, obviously, you can't make it so that it shoots once, then goes away. So, instead of that, you use your uh, Gaster Blaster sprites and or whatever you're using. And you make um, their uh, range infinite and shoot often. Ooh. So, it shoots like that, if that makes sense. So now what you want to do is, of course, you got your health bar, which you don't really need, but it, it, it makes it look better. You have your text slash 99, and your health is obviously oh, 99. So now you want your, like, 
main attacks, like the ones that you'll see like almost every turn. So of course it's sand, so my main attack would be a uh, bone, but if you're making like an undying fight, it would be a spear, or an alphys fight, it would be... Well, you get the point. Now you have your timer. Now you might be asking yourself why you need a timer. Well, that's just to show that you don't need it to show the timer, but I showed the timer just to show how long you need until to survive until the turn is over. But of course, like I said a couple of seconds ago, you don't need to do that. So of course, you put your death sprite in there. Now you have your finish. So your uh, fight button will want to be a finish level. So it automatic. So it t uh, gives or what am I even saying anymore? So it directly uh, takes you to the next. A level or in this case turns or whatever and of course your start button is gonna be a start button and now you're gonna have a design item with uh, the cracked monster heart if you're making a boss obviously so of course you will want uh, your title this is my uh, title a very silly title but it gets the job done so, your first turn. I have a lot of, like, 15 turns. Ooh. And now what you'll want to do is uh, design each turn. And I'm just showing you all of my turns that I made. But, of course, you can make your own. You know what, you get the point. That is just a waste of a couple of seconds of your time. So, obviously, no, you'll want to make your victory. Ooh. you want to make your victory screen. Well, this is my victory screen. As you can see, it has a cracked heart. It has the uh, death sprite. And it has victory at the bottom. Now, I did not finish this, and this is just the normal game over screen. But you can be one step ahead of me and put your own game over screen. And that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you liked it. I will see you all next time. B-Y-E. Bye. -bye.